Welcome back everybody, my name is Doragon, this is Pokemon Diamond Randomized Nuzlocke and today I'm in a new town which I've already forgotten the name of um, so let's run out over here let's route 205 ah we're in Eterna City, I do believe there's probably a gym in here somewhere possibly, maybe, question mark Crash did say there was one somewhere so we'll aim to get that today but, with all of our Pokemon at level 18, 17, 16, and 11... Yeah, we, we sort of need to get these guys trained up a bit. So, we'll take the item from you, because you've got the lucky egg. We'll give it to Gov, because my days we need to uh, get you trained up. One lucky egg. Excellent. We'll also switch you up to the front. And we'll go see about maybe battling those fishermen. So we'll start with the first one way over here. Do you want to fight? To sit back and, fi and fish casually, it's a grown-up's hobby. Oh, what? None of you want to fight? I landed myself a feisty trainer. Let's go. You want to fight? Bring it on. Pop Jasmine, okay. You sent out a Deli Bird. What level is your Deli Bird? 14. Now, Gov, you're good, you're a final evolution, but you are still only level 11. So, we're gonna switch out Pokemon. We're gonna go into Whittle Sniff, even though he's got nothing super effective against Deli Bird. But he also needs the XP. Foe's Delibird used present. It did a sum total of three damage. We are going to use Water Gun. That's going to do some damage there. It's going to do quite a bit of damage, actually. Present was used again. That did more damage this time. If I remember correctly, present's like rollout. It just does more damage every time. So we need to kill you quick. Like so. Excellent. So Delibird fainted. Which means Gov gained 411 XP, possibly a level up. Yep, level 12. Excellent work. Those stats are looking quite nice. And you want to learn Synthesis. My days, you can learn Synthesis. Although I will have to remember what Synthesis is. Oh, yeah, you're one of the super strong moves. We'll just get rid of Tackle then. Yeah, forget Tackle, have Synthesis. Superb. Welcome to the big leagues, Gov. Wibble Sniff, 274 experience points. And Cop Jasmine is defeated! Right, let's have a look at this other... Let's have a look at you. What do you want? Nothing's biting, I could use a break, I suppose. Battle with another trainer. Excellent. Cop Mallory, and you've got a full team of six. Oh my days, what have I got myself into? Solar, your water type. So Gov should be able to rip through you here. So let's go Razor Leaf. This should end your existence pretty quickly. And it does. Single shots. Excellent. Super effective. Gov's got his first kill on the board. Nice work, Gov. 361 experience points. And a rank up. Level 13. Excellent work. Excellent. Most of the way to level 14 as well. Kavana, we will keep battling with Gov. Because Kavana's a low level Pokemon. Kavana's also um, water type, so grass is going to do four times damage. Oh, Majanium, Gov, you, you've changed the game. We've got type coverage. We're not just a water team anymore. We're still not a full team of six, mind. But, you know, that will come if I stop killing people. Level 14, excellent. Those stats are growing nicely. Gov's growing nicely. Beedrill, we will keep battling for the moment. See what level the Beedrill is. Level 10, we'll give it a fight. Gonna go with Razor Leaf again. You're bug, and I feel you are super effective against me. 
Yes, you are, because that's not very effective. So we're going to need to swap out. So here we go. Up to five times being hit. Only hit twice. So we're going to have to swap out now. Uh, I've got nobody good against bug or flying. So we're just going to switch to Wibble Sniff. Get you some XP as well. What's Beedrill going with this time? Fury attack again. Shouldn't do much per attack. Up to five times being hit though. Only hit twice. So let's go with a water gun. That should do neutral damage, I believe. Oh, I did a bit more than neutral. That was good. Fury attack missed. So here we go, Wibble Sniff. Finish him off. That is the Beedrill dead. D-E-D -E -D dead. That's what we like to see. 253, level 15 for Gov. He's growing quickly. It's what we like. Wibble Sniff gained 169, just short of ranking up. About to send out Mankey. We will switch Pokemon when we'll go back into Gov. Because Mankey's a normal type Pokemon. Or is he fighting type? Either way. Gov can get some heavy XP off this. Still only level 10. Let's go with the synthesis, as long as I don't miss. Gov regained health. I forgot that's what synthesis does. But that is clutch. That will be needed later. So, let's go Razor Leaf. I thought synthesis was... I thought it was Solar Beam or something. I don't know why I thought that. But yeah, being able to regain health with just a move. That is clutch. And a critical hit. Single shot kill. Nice work, Gov. Well played. 235 XP. I doubt we're ranking up from level 15 to 16 here, but we should get nearly halfway. Cascoon. We will continue battling, but we'll start switching out. Cascoon does actually have some attacks, so we're going to switch into Wibbles. Because that thing's bug type, so we'll do a lot of damage to our... Dear Gov. Oh, stop hardening. That's just rude. Rude is what that is. Defense Rose. So, Pokemon. Why am I switching Pokemon? I've already done the switch. Let's just fight. Fight Wibble Sniff. One shot. Well done, mate. Well done. The foe's Cascoon fainted. So, it's definitely rank up for Wibble Sniff. It's not for Gov. There we go, level 17 for Wibble Sniff, that's what we like to see. Look at those stats, Wibble Sniff, you're a beast. Latias! So, we've got a legendary. May as well throw Gov in. Get you some heavy experience with Latias. And what level is Latias? Because you're Flying Dragon. You're level 10, so I'm going to attempt a Razor Leaf. See what this does. Not a lot, it's not very effective. Psy Wave! Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Right, we are doing some switching. We're going to take a risky one here because I think you're going to go for Psy Wave or something similar again, which means Wurzel will be able to use his Dragon Rage and destroy your existence. This is a big risk. Hang in there, Wurzdal. Psywave, excellent. We can tank that because Wurzdal's a beast. And then we just Dragon Rage and end his existence. Boom. Wurzdal, Hannah, MVPs. And then we're just throwing Gov and Wibble Sniff. And Wells at it. Wells, like, I'm surprised how well Wells is doing. Was not expecting much when we got you on the squad. Gov grew to level 16. That's some amazing and quick growth. Wurzdal. Nearly there. A couple more fights and Wurzdal's up to 18 as well. One more fight. 
one more fisherman to fight. Fished up some tough Pokemon, let's have ourselves a battle. How many have you got? You've got three, which could mean they're all big. All right, Cop Stacy, Vespiqueen. We're starting off big. Vespiqueen's a bug. That is a problem for Gov. All right, we are removing you from the equation straight away. Hopping into Wibblesniff, because he can tank the buggy attacks. All right, Wibbles, do your thing. Oh, don't poison me. Okay, it didn't. That's good. That's good. Oh, it did. Well, that's just rude. Thankfully, the Pokemon Center is just over there. So, uh, we'll be okay with that. Let's hit you with a water gun. Try and end your existence. I imagine it's going to take two of these. Yeah. Gust. Oh, Wibblesniff's getting weak. Oh, right, we can finish you off with another water gun. Please don't miss it, Wibble Sniff. Excellent work. So that's the Vesper Queen finished off. That's some good XP for Gov and yourself. We need to swap you out, though, or you are going to die. Oh. Why is it so tense all of the time, this Nuzlocke? About to send in Fortress. Yes, we will switch Pokemon because Wibblesniff's not going to be able to take that. We're going to throw Hannah in because Hannah's just the MVP. And we haven't seen her all episode. We've seen everybody else. So, Fortress. I want to say you like bug normal or something. Or maybe just... I can't remember. I can never remember with Fortress. Let's go fake out. Always goes first, always flinches at the start of a battle. That did a whole heap of nothing, though. <sighs> Thankfully, Fortress flinched, so we can now try and bite. We're going to be quicker, so... Oh! Ah, protect, that's why. So this is going to do nothing. Oh, it's going to be a long time beating this Fortress. Bite! Hannah used bite. Hopefully it flinches Fortress as well. Really doesn't do much. Hannah is not effective. No! No! Oh god. We just lost our starter. We just lost our most valuable player. I'm not okay with that. Self-destruct is such a stupid move.
Hannah, I'm so sorry. It's up to you, Wurstel. You've got to step up. You've got to become the MVP. You've got to be the one who carries us to the win. Destroy this guy. Bull sniff is poisoned as well, and he's very weak. Just 20 points, 50 points. We're going to have to use the fresh water so that I can actually get to the poker center with Wibble Sniff, otherwise, we are losing another Pokemon. Unfortunately, just to save Wibblesniff, I'm going to have to heal Hannah and then put her in the R.I.P. box. My starter! My MVP! Oh, please don't let those comments from earlier episodes be, like, foreshadowing of we lose Hannah, we lose the lock. All of these deaths have hurt. But this one... <sighs> Take your item, I'm sorry Hannah. Just in case we need it again. That is not a good box. We have got more in our RIP box than we have on our team. We've lost Hannah. And we're heading towards a gym. Ugh. Right. Where's the Pokemart? Let's get some Pokeballs. Let's see about getting an, an encounter somewhere. I don't know where. I don't know how. Bye. Give me 10 Pokeballs. Wow, I can get 32. Well, a lot more money than I used to have. Oh, actually, yeah, let's get a couple of antidotes, because we can afford them. Let's get ten antidotes, because that has been one of the banes of our existence as well. Let's get some potions. We don't want normal potions. We want some super potions. How many can we have? Four. Let's just have four super potions. Why not? And let's go somewhere. Anywhere. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the depths. Of Doragon's Pokemon Depression. Is this still eternal? No, it goes back to Route 205. Dagnabbit. Is there anything up here? Berries and such. Big open expanse. Let's run through here. See what's on the other side. Ah! It's just the route. Fair enough. We got a much better encounter that. Well, no, we didn't. Route 205 was Tentacool. It was Cusco. And Cusco's dead. <sighs> now Hannah's dead as well. It's 
Nuzlocke hurts, man. Like, properly hurts. Gov's up to level 17. That's great. I'm just going to keep training Gov for a little bit, I think. It's great all-round stats. Right, let's go have a talk to this gym. Wherever it may be. I imagine I'm having to talk to green-haired dude. Who are you? Hey, hey, you, you, trainer. It's okay, never mind, you look tough. I won't take, um, I'll just let you keep your Pokemon carry on. I'm assuming you're Team Galactic, are you? Is that a Pokedex? You must be hel helping Professor Rowan. What's your name? Oh, hello, Doragon. I'll be sure to remember that name. My name is Cynthia. I'm a trainer, just like you. I've been studying Pokemon mythology lately, just out of curiosity. Here in Turner City, there is a statue of an ancient Pokemon. According to myth, it was an extremely powerful Pokemon. Who knows? You may encounter something like it while you're traveling with your Pokedex. Try using this. It should help you on your way. HM1. Please be cut. Remember, the hidden move cut can be used in the field. Wonder who can learn it. Man, I'm just not feeling it, man. I'm just not feeling it anymore. I'm, I'm... Who can learn cut? Do I want to teach it to anybody? Wurzel's able. Gov is able. I don't really want to make Gov a HM slave. But I need it. Let's see if we can get another encounter somewhere. Is that Dialga or Garantina? Dialga, giver of time. Okay, so this is still a Turner City. I can fish here. So, let us fish. Let us get a new encounter. Landed a Pokemon, let's see what it was. This is our encounter for Eterna City, because my days we need the help. Scyther, and he can learn Cut. I will take it. Oh, you're only level four though. Um, poison powder, let's poison you. Because that shouldn't do, t that's gonna kill you, innit? Oh, I'm such a moron. Wild Scyther was poisoned. Right, I've put myself on a timer to catch this guy now because of poison. How much does that do? Quite a chunk. Now, Scyther's going to be super effective against us, so the first thing we're going to do is swap into Wells because Scyther's not going to do much against Wells at all. Use quick attack, that is fine. I did more than I anticipated it would. But you're now hurt by poison. Do I want to fight? Have I got anything? Let's just go. Let's go agility. Let's just waste time so that poison can do its work, bring you down a little bit. Wells used agility. Wells' his speed sharply rose. The Wild Scyther is hurt by poison. What the heck? Let's throw a Pokeball. Let's see if it works. You're only level 4. You're weaker. You may go in. We do not know. Not even a single wiggle. Didn't expect it, but it was worth a try. You used Leah. Go ahead. Do your thing. Wells' his defense fell. Scyther's hurt by poison. Next one, you should be in the yellow. So let's go for another agility, make ourselves super fast. I can't believe we've lost Hannah, man. The problem is, like, whoever was in at that point, the moment something like Fortress goes self-destruct, it's over. 
whoever's there is dead. And uh, the only person on the team I'd possibly at that point have been willing to sacrifice would have been Wells. But Wells has been proving useful and Wells gives us type coverage with the Psychic. Welcome to the Team Scyther. You're a sharp boy, you are. So, after one of the Nerd Migos, this one. So, you are going to be... Digipig. It's not quite his full name, but, you know. We have limited space. Welcome to the team, Digipig. That's our return a city encounter. Let's go heal you up. Oh, I'm a moron and I poisoned you. Oh no, I've done this very wrong. I have antidotes. How much of a moron am I? Well, this episode isn't going anywhere near what I anticipated. I was hoping to be in a gym fighting by now, but no, I've lost a Pokemon. I've nearly killed two more by not realising I have antidotes in my bags, used up most of my healing. This has not gone anywhere near what I anticipated it would. But, let us do some mixing around of these Pokemon. We're going to take your item there, Gov. We're going to give it to Digipig. And then we're going to move Digipig to the front. I'm still on such a downer from losing Hannah, man. Such a downer. I mean, dude. So, there's a route out here now, yes? Route 211. That, that's a lot higher. We jumped from 205 to 211. Are 211 route Pokemon going to be too strong to be caught? We can get the encounter by all means, but are they going to be too strong? <sighs> um. See if there's anything further south. See if there's like Route 206 further south, because I feel we'd probably be better suited for that, which means I probably need to go around here. Can I take one of these... I'm assuming they're bikes. They look like bikes. I can't take one of the bikes. Right, is there anything due south? What a great show that was. Uh, okay, run through. You need a bicycle to go out on the cycling road. Dang it! There's the gym. Really need to train Scyther up before that, uh, which reminds me, let's give Scyther Cut. Because it actually works with his moveset. Alright, Digipig. Have yourself a cut. Digipig learned Cut. Excellent. That's actually going to be quite good. Uh, as bad as it is losing Hannah... Yes, I have a Pokemon who can use Cut. Oh, do not tell me that I have to go into the Pokemon. I need to earn the new badge. <sighs> right, 
Right, screw it, sod it. Route to 11, show me what you've got. Encounter incoming. What is that? <gasps> An Empoleon! Digipig, get the heck out of there. <laughs> get out of there. Um, right, Gov is going to be super effective here. If I was aiming to kill Empoleon, Gov would be the guy that we go for. Oh, he's another water type. <laughs> the water lock continues. Uh, anyhow. So Gov will just kill you. Wibble Sniff and Wells are going to be generally ineffective against you. Wells can probably do the lowest damage. No, Wibble Sniff can probably do the lowest damage with Bubble. We are four and five levels above you respectively. So let's try a Bubble, see how well that does. Should be half damage. Which means I could possibly... Use a water gun if Bubble does very little. Okay, yeah, we can use two or three water guns. Yeah. Get you down to the red and then just throw Pokeballs. Leave that Ultra Ball that we've got until last. Alright, let's go with the water gun because that's going to do a bit more damage. There we go. It's not much damage, but it's more than bubble. And it'll get us into that red that little bit quicker. Come on, Wibble Sniff. Help us get an Empoleon. Help us get a big Penguino. Wow, you missed with a tackle. I'm surprised. Water gun, water gun, water gun, water gun. Okay, I could have probably used somebody else to bring you down a little bit, but it's like everybody else's attacks are, are mega effective or just really, really strong, like Dragon Rage. Okay, you're in the yellow. We're going to use one or two more water guns here. You're lowering my attack, are you now? It's fine, fine. Didn't need to do this quickly anyway. Not like there's a gym calling me down below. Okay, so we're in that sort of danger zone now. I think if I crit with a water gun, I could kill you here. So we're going to switch to bubble. You're in the red. I don't want to hit you again. I feel like if I hit you again, you're dead. So let's start chucking some Pokeballs. We're going to start with the standard Pokeballs. We're then going to move on to... The Premier Balls, then we're going to save that Ultra Ball until last. He's another final evolution, so the chances of him staying in any of these balls are low. And I do not have a full contingent of Pokeballs to just launch at him. Welcome to the team, Empoleon. Your name, I know what it's going to be because it's one of my best friend's favourite Pokemon. Now, just to put this in perspective, when I say best friend, I have like 30 of them or something like that. Like, all friends are best friends, but... Like, this guy, he's close. He's basically family. So we shall name you... That's not an L. That is an L. You are tall, young Empoleon. Welcome to the team. We are finally up to a six-piece. Woohoo! Huzzah! That was a good encounter. We needed that. But if you look at that right-hand side of our team... <laughs> water Dragon. Water Psychic. Water Steel. 
We've got some type coverage, but there is a lot of water there, which makes us incredibly weak to grass and electric. So, uh... Yeah. Right, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go heal everybody, and I'm gonna do some training. So, I will come back to you once I've got Tall and Digipig ranked up a little bit. So, whilst training, found this guy in that patch of grass. I'm so glad we've got Tol. It's amazing type coverage, but could have had a legendary man. Legendary. Oh well, back to the training. I mean, really, same patch of grass where we got Tol. Just training up. Regice. Two legendaries, Azelf and Regice. Wowzers. Okay, we've ranked up a couple of times with each Pokemon. And honestly, the best way to go about this is to go in the gym, although I want to get that item. How do I get there? Is it up the middle of these trees? Yeah, there we go. Another escape rope, okay. Always gonna be useful, always gonna be useful. Charge! Alright, let's enter the gym. Gym number two. We are already five Pokemon down, but we're actually entering a gym with a team of six. See what this dude has to say. Hey there, how's it going, champ to be? Actually, that's what I said to some boy who zipped in here earlier too. The gym leader, or Gardenia, is a user of grass type Pokemon. Should be obvious. A grass type Pokemon really hate fight. Yeah, that's great. I have none. Oh, wait a second. I should. Oh, dear. What did I say? Uh, you will have to be all the gym's trainers who hit on themselves. It's a bit of a challenge, but just think of it as good training for it. Cool. Take on this guy then. Oh, this is our Gardenia. In my gym, no one gets to battle with the gym leader, me, until they've beaten all other trainers. I'll be waiting for you in the back. Good luck, challenger. That means Crash has already come through. So, looking at our list, our list of Pokemon right up above me here, we literally have no one super effective against Grass type, so let's hope that they are randomized into something we are super effective against. Uh, okay, so the gym is a forest. Uh, who do we need to speak to? We need to run into people, don't we? Nobody this way. Can I do anything with these trees? I cannot. Uh, it looks like I should be able to cut these. So, Digipig, use cut! Oh, I can't use it. I thought I'd be able to use it in the gym challenge. Never mind. Rock to smash, but, you know, Thunder Dead's dead. Anybody this way? Oh, there's somebody. Fight me! How did you know where to find me? Let's have our battle. Right, Digipig's up the front, because, you know, it's always going to be great XP no matter what. You've got two Pokemon performer, Jessica. What are you sending out? A Politoed. This is good. This is actually good. I need to switch Digipig immediately, but Gov is coming to save the day. And the great thing about Gov is Gov can heal himself. Politoed, no, don't make me go sleepy sleep. You made me go sleepy sleep. Well now, snap out of it, wake up. Okay, yeah, we're staying asleep for that one. Gov, you lazy swine, you're getting slapped now. Slapped silly is what you're getting. Really getting slapped silly. Right, wake up and hit him with a razor leaf. You're not waking up. <sighs> I 
Gov, we need to have words about this, mate. Sleeping on the job? Not on. Now, you're still going to have to go razor leaf when you wake up. Excellent, because that'll just end this guy's existence immediately. And if it doesn't kill him in one shot, we might heal you. Depends how much damage he does this time around with double slap. All the double slaps. You've actually ended up doing quite a bit of damage just by slapping me like... Psh, psh. You've got me in the yellow synthesis. Boom, look at that healing. Oh, that is going to be clutch later on. Do not. Excellent, you missed me. Mwahaha. And Gov is faster, so you are dead, Politoed. You are dead. Except that you avoided the attack. And you we're not doing well here. See if we can hit you this time. There we go. Zoom. That's a very dead Politoed. That's some great XP for Digipig and Gov. Because you are a final evolution. 445 XP for Digipig. That should be two levels, so maybe level 12 now for him. No, just level 11. Gov gained 297. Some nice growth there. Buneary. Yeah, we'll switch Pokemon because Digipig might actually be able to take care of this. Depending what level it is. I'm imagining it's 14, maybe. 15, so just before evolution. Let's go for shoot. You can use your foresight all you want. Okay, that doesn't do much. Quick attack's not going to do much. Let's cut you. See how much cut does. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, we need to switch out. Because that frustration is going to do some big damage. We need a tank in. It's going to be Gov again, isn't it? It's going to be Gov again. But, uh-oh. Endure, but it failed. Excellent. Fight, Razor Leaf, die. You did well, did you, Pig? But you're, you're not strong enough just yet. That's all. Did you, Pig, gain 202 XP? Gov gained 135. We're not quite ranking up, but performer Jessica is defeated. I think this gym's going to be quite tough. I feel like I should have got these guys ranked higher. Okay, the next trainer is at the end past the two boulders, I think. Okay, at the end past the two boulders. Where are the two boulders? Here's the two boulders. Okay, so one, two. Yes, you are. You're here. My grass type Pokemon can dole out some serious special attacks. I won't let you win easily. Do you actually have grass type though? We shall see. Hello, Rocker Zoe with three Pokemon. Shroomish, actually a grass type Pokemon. Level 14, Digipig, what are you now? Level 11 and weak. So we'll switch, we'll switch there. Switch, switch to our beastly dragon boy. Ba -da -ba -da -bam. You did not just paralyze. You did just paralyze me. I mean, really? You're faster than me? Are you kidding? Wurstle's like. Wurstle. Do I need to come over there and have words with you? Don't make me come over there, Wurstle. There we go. Shroomish is done. There's no way it survives that. Ha! Where's the beast? The new MVP now that Hannah's dead. 
Digipig's up to level 12, that's amazing. I did not see who you were bringing, so we'll switch Pokemon anyway, because... Mm, I'm going to throw Tall up front this time. Should not have thrown Tall up front, should not have thrown Tall up front. Really? Oh, Wurstle's already paralysed. Gov, be a tank. Wow, I just used a Leer. I was expecting more. Let's raise a leaf you to death. I don't think it's going to one-shot you. I was going to say I could be wrong, but no, I wasn't. Throw that bite at me all day, bro. Throw that bite at me all day, because Razor Leaf is going to end your existence. Like so. Down you go. Bye-bye, Luxia. Right, actually read which Pokemon's up next this time. Go gained 162 XP. And ranked up to level 18. That is good. That is needed. Good stats, good stats. And you want to learn the move Reflect. I think I'll probably learn that because it might be better than what I've currently got. Yeah, I'll learn that over Growl. Gov learned Reflect. Tanky Beast, Gov. Tanky Beast. Toll grew to level 15. Excellent. Some amazing stats coming on there, Toll. And you want to learn the move Peck? You can sure learn the move Peck. Because it's better than some of the stuff that you know. Uh, we shall forget Growl. Forget Growl. Toll learned Peck. It's not brilliant, but... It's okay, you're about to send out C Dot, so you've actually got a grass type Pokemon. So we're gonna quickly switch to Digipig, then we're gonna swap out to either Gov or Wurzdal. Because Digipig's just too weak to take this on. Level 15. Worst all, I know you're paralysed, mate, but come do your work. Oh, growth, eh? You're making yourself stronger, are you? Well, view my Dragon Rage! Except that you hardened first. You might actually survive this, you swiney little sea dot. No, you didn't. Never mind. I don't know what I was worried about. When all else fails, Wurzdal to the rescue, except you're still paralysed. Digipig, 177. Wurzdal, 118 XP. And Rocker Zoe is defeated. The more beautiful, the flower, the faster it withers. Doragon got 480 Pokebucks. I will take it. Oh, that's right. A hint about the next trainer. In the middle of three trees... Really? That's it? Wow, okay. In the middle of three trees. I can't get past them, can I? No, I can't get past them. So there's two? In the middle of three trees. Aha, uh -huh, there you are. Now I see you. You could... Wait, 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 wait. What are you doing, you silly girl? Come on. There we go, let's fight you. Even when you try to conceal it, you can't hide the aroma of flowers. Indeed. Who are you? You're Rocker Kimberly. You've only got the one Pokemon. But you do have a Magneton. Which is going to absolutely annihilate Digipig because you're level 17. So we need to switch. Can't go to Wibblesniff because Wibblesniff is water type. Can't go to Wells because Wells is water type. Can't go to Toll.
Because Toll is water type. <sighs> the water lock. It's Gov or Wurzdal. Wurzdal will finish this quick, and Gov's already 18. Come on, you paralyzed dragon boy. Oh, Wurzdal's already 18. I didn't realize that. Oh, that's a bit clutch. Doesn't affect me. This will affect you, though. And you missed. And, oh, you're so very close to dead. All right, we'll use takedown on you just to disrespect. Oh, don't hurt too much. That hurt a lot. Switching Pokemon. Gov, come save the day. Be the tank that you are. See, Gov's going to be MVP here in this particular gym because he can heal. And that might be the case in all of them. That Sonic Boom does so much damage. You have got to go first, mate. You've got to go first. And it's over. Doesn't matter whether it's effective or not. There's not enough HP left on the Magneton to survive it. Wow. That Magneton did a number on the team. Digipig should rank up with that. So that's level 13 for Digipig, which is great. Digipig wants to learn False Swipe. Yes, you can, because... Oh! That is going to be amazing. You're learning that over Quick Attack. Because, uh... Oh, it's just... False Swipe is going to be great for leaving them with one HP to try and capture them. Some things are starting to come together, but it's still been a massively painful Nuzlocke so far. Like, we've had 11 Pokemon, five of which are dead. Your next opponent is beside four flowers. That looks like she might be down here somewhere. But I'm quickly going to go heal at the Poke Center. Okay, we are back at full health, full PP, and we are looking for flowers. Is this, oh yeah, this is a person there. Giggle, you found me. Of course I'll battle you. Who are you? What Pokemon do you have? Gent Malcolm. And you have a Bunnery. What level is your Bunnery? Level 17. Oh, the gym leader is gonna be tough. Like, proper tough. Uh, 17. Let's throw Toll in for a min. Let's see if Toll can do anything. It's only level 15, but Toll's a final evolution. Bunnery is a first evolution. Use that foresight all you want, Bunnery. I am then going to use... And endure all you want. I did a whole heap of not a lot. Peck. Oh dear. Peck is not doing much. I don't really have anything that's going to do a lot of anything here, so we're going to switch. And we're going to bring our tank in, because our tank is just, you know, awesome. You're in charge, Gov. Do your thing. Eek. Eek. 18 damage. Right, Razor Leaf. You're going to go first because you're so much quicker, Gov. Please just finish it off. And you did. We needed that because another frustration would have done a lot of damage. But it should be rank up for somebody somewhere. Swear somebody's ranking up. Nope. Gent Malcolm is defeated. Look, you've beaten me. 952 Pokeballs for winning. I'll take it. It's nearly another 10 Pokeballs. 
There's only our gym leader left. Go on, don't be afraid. I am actually terrified because you're level 17 and you're only a gym trainer, which means this is going to be like 18 to 20. And we cannot afford to have Digipig up front for this. I am sorry. As good as you are, Digipig, you're still only level 13. So we are going to switch you and we're going to put Wurzdal up front. We're going to put the MVP up front. We are going to heal Gov so that we don't have to use a move to try and heal you. Uh, we're also going to heal Toll. I know it seems like such a waste, but just in case it comes down to it and he needs to step in to finish something off. Okay, we're still up front. Gov is our backup. All depends on what Pokemon this leader has. But let's see what we can do. You kept me waiting. I'm Eternus Gym Leader, Gardenia, the grass type master. When I first saw you, I was convinced you'd find your way to me. My hunch was right on the money. You have a winning aura about you. So, anyway, this will be fun. Let's have our battle. Previous Nuzlocks. Second gym is where I've lost. I've only done one previous Nuzlocke, but second gym is where I've lost. We beat this, we're going further. This is the furthest we'll have got in a Nuzlocke. Challenged by Rockster Webster. Venomoth. You've already annihilated one of these, Wurzdal. Don't worry that it's a higher level than you. Dragon Rage it into oblivion. Oh, it survived. Supersonic, that's gonna hurt. Okay, we're still confused. All I need you to do is hit this. Oh, that did some damage. Wurzel's confused, please. No, Wurzel, no! You just need to finish this Venomoth off. Ah! Oh. oh no! Oh no 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 no! We're switching! We're switching! We're switching! We're switching! We're switching! Our first Pokemon, and we're already this on the edge. Ah oh, man! Come on! Come on! It's down to you, Gov. But the great thing is, Gov can heal itself. Gov can heal itself. Oh, you're not going to be that effective, I don't think. Razor Leaf, let's go. Come on. Supersonic. You missed. Razor Leaf, finish it off. Oh, that did nothing. We're going to need Reflect. No! Stop this. You're the first of her three Pokemon. whole team's defense is raised. Let's go Razor Leaf. We'll just keep chipping away. Oh, Supersonic's going to do some damage. And I'm confused. My two strongest Pokemon, the two that could possibly do this, are confused. Ah! Synthesis. Heal. Oh, this is not good. You're the first Pokemon as well. You're using a healing move! How'd you hurt yourself in the confusion? <sighs> Come on, Wells. This Venomoth is doing my head in. This is the first Pokemon of the gym leader as well. The first Pokemon. Oh, come on. Water Pulse, finish it off. Poison Powder, really? Thankfully, I have antidotes if needs be. Come on, just finish it, Wells. Do your thing. Excellent, dead. Those Venomoth fainted. 
Worst all gained 186 experience points. Wells did as well. Gov did as well. Teams reflect war off. Wells is hurt by poison. <sighs> Minon. Electric type, of course. I need to switch Pokemon. I need to switch Pokemon. Because Minon is just going to absolutely annihilate Wells, Wibble, Sniff, or Toll. But Wurzdal is on the verge of death. Gov is on the verge of death. <sighs> I need to heal one of them. I think I'm going to be better healing... Probably Gov. Wells received an encore. Wells is hurt by poison. Need to switch Wells out of there. So let's throw Gov at it now. Come on, beat the second gym. Okay, what will Gov do? Fight. Razor Leaf or Poison Powder? I'm going to try Poison Powder because if I do get confused, if I start missing attacks and such. Damn it! Like that! This Minon doesn't seem to have many electrical attacks, so I could have probably left Wells in. Or thrown Wibble Sniff or someone at it. That's good, that's good. Just keep going, Gov. Keep going. Use your Encore, that's fine. I was going to use Razor Leaf anyway. One more and it's done. Oh, I used a Super Potion. How dare you. Free attack for me, though. Means you're not coming at me with anything. That's good. We'll go Razor Leaf again. Still in Encore. Spark. See? Knew you'd have had an electric move. Shouldn't do much. Does not a lot of anything because Gov is a tank! One more Razor Leaf and Minon is done. Okay, we're two of the three down. It's going to be the ace coming in now, though. Level 20, do we reckon? Goes up to level 19 anyway. Beautiful. Look at those stats now. Goes on core ended. Rocker Webster is about to send in Sandshrew. Ground type. So, yeah, we're going to switch because Wibble Sniff is going to be our MVP for this one. Oh, come on, Wibble Sniff. End this thing's existence. It's only a Sand Shrew. It's not a Sand Slash. It is, however, level 22! Water Gun. Come on. Come on, Wibble Sniff. You're quicker, even though you're a lower level. And this is going to be super effective. Not quite a one shot. You just need to tank a single hit, mate. Single hit. Ah, Citrus Berry, eh? Used Swift. What does that do? Not a lot of damage. Come on, Wibble Sniff. Come on. Yes! Oh! Gym two down. The second gym is down. <laughs> I might have said it before, but you're really tough. Wasn't it hard for you to raise your Pokemon to be so good? Very hard, you have no idea. I guess that's a measure of how much you love your Pokemon. In recognition of that, I proudly grant you this. 
Doragon received the forest badge from Gardinia. <sighs> With the forest badge, your Pokemon can use the hidden move cut outside of battle. Now that you have two gym badges, all Pokemon you received in trades will obey you up to level 30. I've also got something else. It's a gift from me. Obtained TM86. TM86 contains the move Cross Chop. It's one of my favorite moves. The heavier the foe, the more damage the move will do. And that is just bringing our Digipig into the fore. I need to use an antidote on poor Wells. Because otherwise, Wells is going to be dead by the time we get to a Pokemon Center. But look at that team. That team of six. That The only six that we have. We've got no choice at all. But we've done it. Second gym down. The furthest we have gotten in a Nuzlocke. We've been lucky with our encounters. We've been unlucky in some of our battles. Just going to... Quickly use cut here because I can, you know. Oh, I can't use that here. Okay, never mind. But we are through. Gym number two complete. We're probably going to run into crash out here. Or not. No crash. Oh, man. Oh, thank you all very much for tuning in now that we've got the... Jim Beaton, that'll be the end of the episode. Don't forget to hit like and smash that subscribe button. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Hopefully, we get a bit more luck. We don't keep losing Pokemon as we go through. But in the meantime, folks, take care. <laughs>